Hello again. In this module, I'm going to show you how to activate and use the callback feature. Let's go ahead and log into our account. I'll log into the GI Connect side of the account. Now we haven't activated the trigger number yet, so we don't have callback feature showing up. So we're going to have to go edit the account. And remember, default was 1111. I want to go here to trigger. Click on get your callback trigger number. I'm going to change the text size so it shows better. Here we go. Okay. This information is already filled out. You can't do anything here. You can select the U.S. area code you want to use. At this time, I would stay with the default of 661. Uh, that area code seems to have the most available numbers at this time. You want to enter your callback number that you're going to be using. In this case we're going to use the same account number that we set up on the phone. Now you can change this callback number later. I'll show you how to do that. Click new trigger and it may take a few moments. Now you see we have our trigger number. Our trigger is 1661352-3228. Now that we have our trigger, I'll show you there's a couple of ways to use the callback feature. Uh, but first let me tell you why to use the callback. The GI Connect callback service is a reliable and it's easy to use phone service that offers economical U.S. rates to people living overseas. It allows the opportunity to enjoy the cost savings created by the highly competitive U.S. long distance industry. By accessing a U.S. dial cone and placing the calls as if they were made in the U.S., individuals can save up to 70% on international calls. The callback service is approved by the FCC, and it offers competitive rates by avoiding the expense of dialing through the local telephone monopoly. Two ways to go ahead and use the callback feature. One would be from the website. Click Use Callback. Okay, and here you can enter your callback number if you so desire. It is optional, or you can enter it once the call rings. Let's leave it blank for now so we can see how that works. Click Connect. The telephone rings. Hello. phone number. And there you have it. It's that simple. Now the other way would be to dial from your telephone. You just dial the trigger number. You hang up after the first ring. Now because you hang up, the call is not placed, so you will not be billed. So let's just say, for example, if you were overseas and you wanted to make a uh, phone call to the U.S., you could use the calling card feature and uh, pay the calling card rates, or you could use the callback feature and then pay the callback rates. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at rates before we make calling from uh, Indonesia. Hit the first letter, it'll go to it. And 
and we're calling United States. The rate would be 37.09 cents per minute if we were to dial it using our calling card rates. Now let's check callback rates. Now the call would actually be placed uh, from the United States using the callback. And of course we're calling the United States, so U.S. to U.S. And our rate would be 4.48 cents a minute. So that would be a 32 and a half cent savings per minute by using the callback feature. So you can see there's a big savings there. Now, I did say the other way to use the callback was to dial uh, directly from either your cell phone or from your home phone. Now, I've programmed the trigger number, so let's go ahead and see how that works. Okay, now the call wasn't placed, so I'm not charged for that call. Hello. Okay, those are the two ways to use the callback feature. Now there's two ways to change your callback number. The first way to change your callback number would be from the website. Go to edit account, enter your four digit pin code. Remember default is 1111. Hopefully by now you've changed your pin code. Click on callback number. And you can enter your new callback number. I'm not going to make any changes, so we'll just save it. Now, the other way to change it would be from the menu inside your uh, GI Connect phone call by calling the uh, access number. Let me show you how that works. I have the access number uh, programmed into my speed dial. You dial star pound to get into your menu. Please enter the phone number. Press 1 to modify your speed dial numbers. Press 2 to initiate your conference calling feature. Press 3 to change your callback Okay, press 3 to change the callback number. Your current callback number is 1321206. Okay, I'm not going to make any changes, but you can see how simple that is. You just follow the prompts. And that's really all there is to using the callback feature.